So there's a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to the Hex community and RH. So there's RH is a very polarizing character, um, which I actually really prefer. There's uh, oh. Floyd Mayweather is one of my, my favorite fighters of all time, and he has a uh, quote that I think really resonates with, with RH's uh, general demeanor. He said that uh, some people come to see me win, some people come to see me lose, but everybody pays. You know, mm -hmm. so there's that polarizing aspect that even when people hate RH, a lot of times they love to hate RH, right? He's mm -hmm. a, he's a, if you don't like him, he's a very fun guy to, to go after, right? Because he's, he's so, he's very flamboyant. He's very loud. He, he's mm -hmm. very uh, unforgiving in his approaches. So that's why so many of us love him. The, and it's, and it's caused a lot of the Hex community to be very vibrant. You know, they're very mm -hmm. strong willed. You've seen it, you know, you, you do a lot of great, um, content on other on other projects but you don't get the traction you do in our community man when when people no. show us love it's strong we care we we really care we're a very very uh inclusive group a lot of us know each other uh, you can see how many of the streamers are on other guys streams mm -hmm. you know how many of us you know talk and relate uh we you know a lot of us you know or if you're a stronger member in the community and participate a lot you know, I know devs on the bridge team. I know, you know, like we get a chance to talk to devs directly. You know, we get a chance to communicate with RH occasionally, you know, LV admins, you know, all the streamers, you know, we talk to all these guys, we're, we all know each other. So we're very tight knit and it allows us to be, have a lot of congruency in our message and great stuff. The downside is if you, if you don't really resonate with that very particular frequency, you probably get jaded very quickly. Excuse so me. where how to pulse is what we're really trying to do is to, Understand that the that Hex is a beautiful product. Pulse Chain's a network. If you want a network to be successful, you have to network. This thing has to be big. It has to have effects. It has to bring in other communities. We have to bring in more audiences. Absolutely. So while we can sit here and uh, you know sh shill, shill to each other and get all the the pats on the backs and a bunch of you know bro high fives, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. But we're trying to build something large, very large. You want to have a successful EVM fork. We talk about not being an empty chain. Mm -hmm. That means you need to have participants. Yes, so, so it's been a spending a lot of money on reaching outside of just the Hex and Pulse community. Let's let's bring in these these other hearts and minds, right? There's a lot of other communities that have things to offer, or if nothing else, they have people participating in those systems that would be better off in what we are. So, if you truly believe that what you're building is better than other things then it is in your self-interest and the interest of others to make sure they understand that. So it's not just about shilling bags. You can sort of be selfish and being unselfish. You need to get the word out and let these people know that what we're building is going to be very, very powerful for them. And that means reaching out to these other communities. So um, how to pulse as of about October. So going on three months, the site has had 130,000 visitors. Wow. That's awesome. Almost, uh, almost 6,000 daily visitors. That's awesome. Um, we have had airdrop uh, marketing campaigns going out. Uh, we've handled it. We're the creators of the Pulse Chain Army, a little Twitter storm telegroup that, oh, that LJ has awesome. been doing a great job. Yep. So we've been doing a lot of custom uh, artwork and ads tailored to specific groups. So going after Shiba and Uni and the Link Marines and all these guys trying to get all these, again, all these hearts and minds. Typically, when there's outreach to communities, we can call it what it is. They they want that economic mass, right? There, it's one meme coin trying to eat another meme coin. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to get out there is that, guys, do what you're doing. We love your space. We just want you to guys come interact on a better network. So it's really about outreach and adoption and pushing these things to make sure that we're we're not sitting in a little echo chamber. You know, if we we really want to build this this ecosystem, it it takes more than just hex. Uh, of course, we're always going to be big hex fans. We all have hex bags, but we want the rest of these projects in you. We got to spread the good word. You got to be out there and share on the gospel. Uh, and that's, that's what I think how to pulse is really trying to do is to, to both raise the sort of floor of education uh, and then trying to broaden the reach of the community. This community has a lot to offer. Uh, so again, if you feel that what you offer is better than what's being out there, and if you feel that what you're saying is worthwhile, then it's um, you know, then you need to get it out there. So it, it really is that important. We can't sit here and sleep in silk sheets. We gotta be hungry. We gotta go out there and get it.